Josh, you got the nod. You're playing for North Melbourne to be your first game, but your third club, how do you feel? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely wrapped and excited, um, as we were just joking about. You don't dream of being a uh, three-club club player, but um, I'd certainly uh, wouldn't change it for the world. So looking forward to Sunday. Is it, is it a little bit of a moment where you've got to pinch yourself that you're going to run out for North Melbourne? I mean, you would have set your goals on playing round one, but now it's actually come all the uncertainty around Corona then probably yeah. you know, held up your plans, but, but you're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, a bit of that. Um, mate, uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be weird because of the obviously no, no fans there, and um, we've already played a, a couple of practice games in the, in the jumper, and so got used to the new colours. Um, I don't know. I suppose the intensity will be up, but uh, to be honest, without any crowd at all, it almost feel like a bit of a practice game. <laughs> like it's going to be weird, but um, I think come the bounce, the ball goes up, and, and we you switch on, and we now we've got a job to do, and, and we absolutely want to win. So we'll be pretty focused on the on the game, not, the, not so much the crowd. Will you take it on your shoulders, along with like another veteran in Robbie Tarrant, to make sure the energy's up, and that you guys, as a group, are creating your own energy without fans there? Uh, yeah, look, I'll definitely try and help, but I don't think I'll have to, to be honest. I think the group are, are pretty good at, um, I suppose, keeping the energy right up and, and being motivated. We're a pretty self-motivated group, so uh, Shory as well drives that really hard. So I don't think I'll have to, but uh, if, if, certainly if it's a bit quiet out there and I notice, I'll be telling the boys to spark up a little bit. How have you enjoyed playing next to the likes of Robbie Tarrant, Majak, Dor, Sam Durden, those kind of guys in the back line? Yeah, yeah no, it's been awesome. Um, I've come from a relatively young backline so they come in with some guys who are older than me is awesome and um, obviously great players hold their own and, and as the more I've got to play with them it's become really predictable I know starting to learn you know they'll mark it and turn this way they he likes to play here he likes to go there um, so we're certainly gelling the more we play together and it's, it's becoming um, I suppose easier and, and more predictable. Um, you were a forward, obviously, for most of your career, and then you got switched to a yeah. defender at Brisbane for about you know, 15 games last year. Can you give us an insight playing along a guy like Robbie Tarrant, who in all North, Mo North Melbourne supporters' minds is an All-Australian, what's he like to play with? How good is he? Uh, he's, a, yeah, he's a genuine pain to play on <laughs> from memory as a forward. Um, he's, he's obviously really smart and clever and puts himself in good positions um, to take away where you want to go as a forward, and then uh, he's... If you, if you stand next to him, he's a massive guy. <laughs> he's extremely strong. So you sort of you can't body him up and push him out of the way either. So uh, it's so handy to have someone like that alongside you. Um, it means that you know you can, he can take potentially the most dangerous forward and, and release a few of the, a few of the other defenders to uh, you know intercept or, or try and take a mark. All right, mate. We're wishing you all the best and uh, go get him. Thank you very much.